cuties this is Trika of Trika Plans welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel this is where the planning and the cuteness collide here at Trika Plans hashtag cuteness squad we are here for all the cuteness we are here for the planning the creating lifestyle inspiration and coverage excuse me encouragement and so much more and if you're interested in joining Trika Plans, our little family, hashtag cuteness squad. All you simply have to do is tap the red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you will not miss another video. Give your girl a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Welcome to another Soulful Sundays. We are here to do the recap for the 14th through the 20th and it is jam packed full of goodies if you have been following along and all you simply have to do is look in the description bar below that way you can see the plan from september and october because september is start decluttering and then october is decluttering continue so we have to really start looking at the scriptures looking at the plan that way you can know how to declutter your life you a dangle Paperclip dangle made by me and a bow made by me. So I've been busy. So if you are ready for this recap reflection of the week of October the 14th through the 20th, let's get to our recap. Okay, you guys, I decorated my page with some hearts because God wants to create in you a pure heart. Um, I'm using this doll from Vin Von Alley. She is on Shopify. She's also here on YouTube. Here, here is her card. Vin Von Alley by Michelle. She's on Etsy, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. So make sure you check out her shop. She is on Shopify and on Etsy. And I showed you guys all of my goodies that I had from her. So I just keep those to the side because I didn't know what exactly I would use. But anyway, we are going to do our recap. We're going to start with Monday the 14th. We were on James 1 and 12. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because having stood the test that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those whom who love him keep your professional perseverance intact and here are some tips that you can utilize to help you number one graciously decline anything above and beyond your job responsibilities while still providing a hundred percent job effort number two follow the rules and fly under the radar certainly if a situation requires management's attention you must share I mean, i'm looking at my notes you okay you must share but put aside from that let the little things go Number three, fake it until you make it. That means put a smile on your face when you walk in the door and keep it there. You have the hope that things are going to change. So be patient and do your best to pleasantly enjoy the ride. It may go against your nature to perform at standard and it probably won't, won't get you a raise, but that isn't the goal do your job well convey a helpful positive attitude and when the time comes leave with your witness reputation and integrity intact so what will you declutter on this day me i'm just trying to declutter um having a bad reputation guilt remorse frustration burning bridges hurting your chances for a positive job reference and the possibility of damaging your witness so make sure you are decluttering and make sure that you are doing the things that bring you joy so on to the 15th we have micah 6 and 8 he has shown you O mortal what is good and what does the lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. 
Okay, back to decluttering at work. There is nothing more worse than a cluttered workspace. Whether that refers to simply a countertop space, a desk, a full office, or even a vehicle. Keeping it decluttered will help you function at maximum efficiency and with the least amount of frustration and distractions. I know when my office was a mess, still kind of a mess, but it's majorly done, it was driving me up the wall. I just, I couldn't take it, so I had to declutter it, and I am glad that I did because of the simple fact. Now, now, I feel better. So on to 16, Wednesday the 16, 1 Corinthians 3 and 17. This is our War Binder Wednesday. Remember, War Binder Wednesday is at 7 p.m. on She Loves Planners channel here on YouTube. Um, hosted by Bev and Michelle from Vin Von Alley. So we are doing 1 Corinthians 3 and 7. If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person for God's temple is sacred and you together are that temple. Honor God with your temple, which is your body. Temple care and maintenance. Yes, your body is your temple. Isn't it cool that God resides within you? He finds your body, which is your temple, worthy enough to dwell in. So this is amazing. I, I, I know that it's a struggle for some people, but we do have an obligation to honor God by appreciating and caring for our temples to the best of our ability. It's our opportunity to show our love and gratitude for him and what he did this means try to eat a little healthier try to do some exercise living free from alcohol and substance abuse sleeping well i have the sleeping problem <laughs> I, but i don't have a sleeping problem i just i am trying to get into bed a little earlier now because i used to stay up all times and then i'd be dragging all day so i mean and then, oh, managing stress. I used to have a hard time doing that as well. So, I'm going to, I'm I, you know, like I said, this is reaching me just as well as it's reaching you guys. So, I'm going to try to manage my stress a little bit better. And I'm going to sleep a little better. Taking care of yourself when you're ill. Don't be afraid or ashamed to seek a doctor's or a specialist's health. That goes for your mental health, your personal health. That goes for health in general. And what are you going to declutter? That's something to think about. Me, I'm just going to declutter the guilt, regret, illness, disease, this honoring God and bondage from problems that will limit me to serve him. So with that being said, we're going to move on to um, Thursday the 17th, Romans 12 and 1. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters in view of God's mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and pleasing to God this is your true and proper worship the dangers of addictions addictions and dependence on anything to access is dangerous for instance our bodies require food to exist but choosing to harm your body by abusing you food excuse me is a sin prescription drugs when used appropriately and as directed are beneficial but when you misuse them they become conduit for destroying your health alcoholism will not only destroy your body but erode relationships wreck your finances and in your career sleep deprivation and functionally only on adrenaline highs are also serious health compromising behaviors don't mistreat the body god gave you and then offer it back to him as a broken mess you got to start kicking these bad habits and overcoming addictions and they can be a long and difficult path or road but it can be done with god all things are possible on to 
Friday. Friday is 1 Peter 3, verses 3 and 4. Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as an elaborate hairstyle, wearing the finest of the gold jewelry, the best of clothes. Rather, it should be of your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is great, which is of great worth in God's sight. Don't doubt God design. We are living in a world of fashion and internet and this and that, but you have to keep your eyes focused in the splendor of all that makes you unique. Praise God for what he has created in us and stop criticizing him for what he hasn't made us. We are all unique. Love yourself, love your body, love who God made you, and you will be so blessed. Okay, moving on to Saturday the 19th, Isaiah 6 and 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. We have to think about healthy living at this point. There's no manual. Um, God didn't write us a manual. He wants us to care for our temple. Be content in how he created us. And curb or conquer addictive behavior. So, 18 and 19 kind of go together. So, it's... It's a lot to ask, I know, and God give God giving us some serious general guidelines, but I don't remember seeing a recommended food list, exercise regimen, or weight loss plan in the Bible. Yes, I said it, and I said it again last month. We just got to care for our temples, the only one we got here on earth. Declutter it so you are left with all that is good and pleasing to yourself and to God. And then take that goodness and serve him in a mighty way. On to Proverbs 22 and 6 for a Sunday, which is our soulful Sundays. Start children off the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Our children is our responsibility that's our soulful Sunday. I appreciate you time, you guys taking out the time to be here. And now that we are caught up, it's not so stressful. I really have been enjoying everything. I've been enjoying the comments. I've been enjoying your interaction with me. I have been enjoying it all. If you are new, take a look in the description bar below so that you can go back. I will also leave a link at the end screen of the whole Soulful Sunday playlist so that you can follow along. Even if you are not with us at this present moment, you still will have the videos, the scriptures, and everything that you can do it at your own leisure. This decluttering has really helped me. I hope it has helped you all. I am I have been committed to this because it was put in my spirit to do it and I definitely have learned so much over the last 2 months and I hope you guys have as well. And if you are new, also remember if you like the content like what you see and you thinking about joining our little family over here at Trico Plans, hashtag cuteness wide, all you simply have to do is tap the red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. Give your girl a thumbs up. This helps the um, YouTube community see that you are lacking this type of content. It helps your girl out. Also, leave me a comment down below. I love hearing from you all, and I will see you in our next Soulful Sunday next week. Bye.